This could be the best thing that ever happened to you. But you're going to do extremely well. They've misled us totally. Wake up is my message. This coronavirus is bigger than 9-11 or Pearl Harbor or anything we've ever seen before. And on the biggest picture of all, the coronavirus and the coming crash, financial collapse possibly, marks the end of the industrial age and the beginning of the information age. It's a very big move. And the people that are in trouble today are people still stuck in industrial age thoughts. My message is not so kind. This is hard talk, not happy talk. You're either going to get healthier and wealthier or you're going to go bust. Your choice. The crisis is in your head. The good news, you can change the crisis by changing what's inside your head. Those of you at home right now who are sitting going, but I'm going to lose my job, my house, my pension and all this. It's because you're, you're trapped with all thoughts. So this is how what Fuller talked about. The prison is inside our head, Buckminster Fuller. It starts with misinformation and misorientation. Misinformation, misorientation. So that's why it's socialism for the rich. Unfortunately, there's capitalism for the poor middle class, those that work for money. You're on your own. This is metamorphosis time. Financial education in rich dad's terms is really financial transformation. Metamorphosis, the definition is the evolution or the transformation from an immature form to an adult form. An immature form to an adult form. Metamorphosis is the same as a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. And Fuller always said there's nothing to predict a butterfly inside a caterpillar. So everybody listening right now, if you're struggling financially, just think of yourself as a little caterpillar. And this crisis is your cocoon. The question is, what do you emerge as? Do you emerge as a victim? You know, the world did that to me and the, the capitalists are crook and the rich are bastards and all this stuff. Or do you say, oh, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. The same as my health. I am ground zero for the coronavirus. All that does is inspire me to get healthier. You're either going to get healthier and wealthier or you're going to go bust. Your choice. It sits between your ears, your heart, your body, your mind, your spirit, your attitude. You know, mommy, daddy are going to take care of me. Mommy and daddy are going to pay for my education. The government's going to give me social security. I have a 401k. You know, the, my employer is an asshole. You know, da, 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 da. You're going to evolve from that into an adult. If you grow up mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, and health-wise, voila. This is the best thing that happened to me. But if you're still a victim, you're not going to make it. The metamorphosis begins when you look in the mirror. And if you're standing in front of the mirror today, you know, with this coronavirus and looming depression, how did I get here is the question. What don't I know? What did my information, education, cultural background, what did not prepare me for today? The virus is real. The question is, how healthy are you? So I could, I could be a victim right now saying, you know, I have heart disease, diabetes, I'm overweight. Uh, I've had pneumonia three times. I've had malaria. And all that did was inspire me to be healthier. And the average person goes to their doctor once a year for an annual checkup. That's not health. That's called medicine. So the, this is my biggest complaint is that who determines our medicine is the insurance companies, some of the biggest financial institutions in the world. The average person, because they have no wealth, can't afford my health care. The physician I see is 5,000 a visit. And if you have health insurance, they won't see you. So that's health care and wealth care. So if you're still thinking your physician is going to save you, that's all thinking. If you think that you spiritually can do what you don't like, that's all thinking, you know, job security and all that's all thinking. And mental health is crucial. I mean, what thoughts do you have in your head? If you think this is a bad time, guess what? You're right, it's bad. But if you think this is the possibly the best time for you, 
you can move forward.